The tussle over the leadership of Papua New Guinea has taken another twist, with one of the two men claiming to be Prime Minister, insisting his government's getting back to the business of running the country. Peter O'Neill claims he has the numbers in Parliament. His rival, Sir Michael Samari, is boycotting Parliament, despite having the backing of the country's Supreme Court. Joining me now is PNG correspondent Liam Fox. Liam, Peter O'Neill is trying very hard to assure everyone the crisis is over. Is it? Look, I think there'd be few people in PNG who say this uh, political deadlock is over, but it certainly appears that Peter O'Neill is taking the upper hand. Um, his, him and his supporters are back in Parliament today, as they have been, uh, as they were all last week, maintaining a presence on the government benches. They're hoping to pass. Uh, some laws today. Uh, he maintains that he has uh, control of uh, government assets uh, and the public service. And indeed, there's a meeting of all departmental heads uh, this morning under his chief secretary. Uh, so he's very confident uh, that he is the country's legitimate prime minister. And here's a little bit of what he had to say yesterday. That the government is now, uh, as I stated on Friday, is uh, taking full control of all the government institutions and uh, uh, government business. We are now reversing today all the decisions that the uh, so-called uh, government of Somare made over the past few uh, few days. They include some uh, appropriation of some funding of close to uh, 30 or 40 million kina uh, in some dubious uh, police in some dubious police operations and operations for the defence force and operations of the CIS. What about Sir Michael Samari? Has he responded to that? Uh, no, he hasn't. While Peter O'Neill has been on the front foot media, holding numerous press conferences, being seen in Parliament, meeting protesters, uh, Sir Michael has been uh, largely kept out of the public eye. He's done a handful of press conferences and uh, no, he hasn't responded to the comments by Peter O'Neill yesterday, but uh, we can say that he still maintains, definitely maintains, that he is the country's legitimate Prime Minister. He has the backing of the Supreme Court. Of course, Parliament resumes today. It's got the budget and the inclusion of more women on the agenda. That's right. Um, uh, Peter O'Neill said, also said yesterday that he would like to pass the final legislation that enables the creation of 22 seats in Parliament just for women. Now, uh, while he may support it, he has 75 MPs. Uh, for this bill to be passed, it requires uh, the support of three quarters of Parliament, and that's 83 MPs. So uh, for this to be passed, he'll need the support of some of the Samari camp. Now, one person has shown up, Dame Carol Kidu, but no one else. And there's scores of uh, brightly dressed women who've come to Parliament today hoping that this will be passed, but without any of the Samari camp turning up, uh, that's unlikely at this stage. Liam Fox in Port Moresby, thank you.